Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and I've got another holiday card demo for you. This is another demo from a while ago, and it shows you how to create four really festive winter festival cards. Use any watercolour paper that you've got for this, and um, just divide it up into four with masking tape. Um, I've got these taped to my board and I've got them divided up with ordinary decorator's masking tape and my board will be at an angle of about 30 degrees or so. And I'm going to paint some wet and wet backgrounds first using Prussian blue and then I'll add some Payne's grey. And so I use wet and wet washes, leaving a bit of dry brush, then a bit of spatter, whatever you like really. Um, just mess around and play just to get some interesting textures for the back of these cards, the backgrounds rather. And then all you need to do is then choose your favourite sort of dried seed heads or Christmas flowers and paint them on top of the washy washes once the washes are completely dry. So I've got my soft washes covering each one of my card backgrounds and I just dipped my fingers into my water jar and flicked into the water and that's created some pretty blooms. I've now laid the board flat and I'm going to add some spattered drops of my paint into the background and you can see that it's building up some lovely texture. Just flicking that spatter into the, um, into the damp paint it's diffusing where it hits the wetter paint and staying firmer little patterned dots very pretty where it hits where the paint is almost dried now here's my um, dried cards so i've put my board back up at an angle again and i'm going to start painting some teasels and dried seed heads using some I think it's burnt umber along with my other colours and then I shall add some white gouache highlights as well.
So that's all four designs just about done. I'm just going to scratch a bit of texture through the damp paint on those leaves to give them a central vein using the corner of a chopped up plastic store card. And I hope you can see how these techniques that I've demonstrated here are sort of transferable skills that you can apply to any colour schemes, any kinds of plants or flowers, um, and they would make lovely sort of... Um, holiday cards um, or paintings, uh, little pictures for your um, junk journaling, anything like that. Just a final bit of spatter of white gouache to kind of give that impression of frost or snow. It's a really nice finishing touch. You could also use acrylic um, ink, white acrylic, acrylic ink at the end. Um, I may even have done that here because that white looks nice and strong and it can be really effective. White gouache can sometimes dry back a little bit lighter than you want it to. Yes, I think this is probably Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White ink. So let's remove the tape. Always a nice moment, it's always fun to see the cards appear as if by magic because once you see them with a clean white border, you can imagine how they will look when they are cut up and um, glued onto card blanks and what sort of looked a little bit scrappy is now looking really nice I think I think you can see the potential here for this method it's a nice transferable skill I think you can paint using any this method using any colors any plants any subject matter that you want really to paint in this sort of loose free way and end up with some really interesting results well, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love reading your comments. And please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thanks so much to everyone that supports this channel on Patreon. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. And happy painting. Bye.